David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review. Today, I have for you the latest release from a company I have previously reviewed a pen from. The name of the company is Big Idea Design, or Big Eye Design, I've seen it both ways. And the pen that I will be showing you today is called their Fountain EDC. Um, what I'm going to do is remind you a little bit about the company. I'll go over the parts and features of the Fountain EDC. I'll talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about the pen. I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Thanks go out to Big Idea Design for providing the pens you will see today for review. And one of these will be given away to a lucky viewer as well. So stay tuned to see what you need to do in order to make one of these pens your very own. Uh, Big Idea Design is a company based out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, the company got its start back in 2011 and has launched over 30 different projects via Kickstarter, uh, mainly for a variety of everyday carry items. Um, everything from pocket tools to knives to a number of different ballpoints and roller pens, as well as a fountain pen called the TI Ultra, which I previously reviewed. The pen arrives in this unique box. This drawer slides out and inside we have a couple of things. There is a little drawer here. Let's see if I can do this. A little drawer which contains some extra O-rings and then we have the pen. Uh, this is the Fountain EDC. It comes in a few different varieties. There is a version in raw titanium. Uh, then there is one in stonewashed titanium. There's one in Titanium DLC Black. And then there are versions in Brass and Copper and Zirconium. And a special limited edition version made from full Titanium Damascus. I actually have two versions here. I have the Copper as well as the Stonewashed Titanium. I'll show you more of the Copper version during the writing sample. Uh, this is actually the version which I'll be giving away to one of you, but for the sake of the review, let's take a look at this stonewashed titanium. Uh, this is a fairly small pocket pen. Uh, the top of the cap is flat with a rounded edge, and that leads us to the clip. Now, this is the standard clip, which uh, has the T1 logo engraved near the top. Uh, and then here is the stonewashed titanium with the optional titanium Damascus clip. I've always been a big fan of the TI Damascus. I think it looks really cool. And I will say that when you order the T1 Damascus clip, uh, it arrives in a separate box. It's kind of a separate part here. Um, the pen will have one of the standard clips on it, and at least for me, uh, the clips didn't arrive with any instructions. So even though I figured out that there was a screw that you had to access by using a screwdriver inserted into the cap, for a while I was kind of questioning whether that was what I was supposed to do. Uh, it ended up being simple to change out the clip, but some instructions would have been nice just to assure me I was installing it correctly and uh, not causing damage to the pen or unscrewing something that I shouldn't have been unscrewing. The cap angles up just slightly for about the first inch or so before straightening out. Uh, there is no band or exterior branding on this pen. Well, the standard clip has that titanium symbol, but there's nothing on the pen to identify it as being a product of Big Idea Design. Um, I know I've mentioned the lack of branding bothering me on other pens, uh, but that's just one of my fountain pen pet peeves. One of these days, I should probably do a video on my top pet peeves. Um, at the end of the cap, there is an angled step down to the barrel, which is straight, until you get to the end, where there is an end piece, which is part of the posting mechanism. Uh, the cap snaps off, and underneath there is a stainless steel Bach 180 extra fine nib. Uh, this pen is only available with an extra fine nib, which I find to be a little bit odd. Uh, across all of my pen sales that I've had, extra fine has been the least favorite nib chosen. Uh, customers chose it only 12% of the time. Uh, if you're curious, the most popular was medium, coming in at 32%, then at 25%, though that was fine. 17% uh, picked a stub, 14% wanted a broad, and then like I said, extra fine was only 12%. So I find it a bit odd that they would choose to put a nib on here, which is the preference of only about 12% of potential customers. And here's a look at the plastic feed. Uh, the section is a bit narrow, but I feel it's size appropriate in relation to the size of the nib. Uh, 
It begins with a number of grooves, which can help you maintain a solid grip on this pen. But when inking, I found these grooves to fill with ink and, you know, a straight dry tissue was having difficulty getting the ink out from the tiny crevices. So I find myself uh, having to wet a tissue in order to sufficiently clean out the section. Uh, at the end of the section, there is a bit of a bump, which is used in the capping mechanism, and then a medium-sized step up to the remainder of the barrel. Um, I find the fountain EDC to be just long enough to use unposted, but the cap does snap to post. Uh, it posts easily, and I prefer the snap to post more than a twist to post. Uh, when it's posted, you can see here that it makes for a decent sized pen. Uh, and I like that the transition between the cap and the barrel is fairly smooth, so it doesn't cause any issues when it's rubbing up against the inside of your hand. Uh, this is a cartridge converter pen. It accepts standard international cartridges and a Caveco mini converter is provided. Uh, these mini converters are decent enough and hold about as much ink as a standard cartridge. The Big Idea Design Fountain EDC is only available, as far as I'm aware, on the uh, Big Idea Design website and sells for $100. I'll put a link to their site in the notes below. Uh, the Zirconium model is $250 and the full Damascus, titanium Damascus version, uh, which is the limited edition of 10 pens, is $775. Uh, the last time I checked on their site, they still had a couple of those available. Oh, and the uh, Titanium Damascus Clip sells for $39. I, I feel that $100 is a reasonable price for this pen. Uh, it's very well constructed, and it feels very solid in the hand, especially this Titanium model. Uh, it's a decent little pen that could take a beating and be a decent knockabout option. While the nib on this pen is nice, I wish that they would offer more than just an extra fine option. Uh, thanks again. Go out to Big Idea Design for providing these pens for review. Uh, this copper version, like I said, will be the one that is given away to one of you. Uh, it'll also include one of the Damascus clips. Uh, in order to make this pen your very own, uh, what you need to do is simply click on the link to the Google form in the notes below. Uh, using the Google form has worked out well. Uh, while I still encourage you to leave comments below if you wish, uh, even though some scammers might reply to the messages telling you of one, um, I haven't had anyone mistakenly think they've won because you now know that I'll be contacting you via email, not YouTube comment. Uh, all you do is leave your name and an email address in the form uh, and answer an optional question. In regard to the question for this contest, I haven't done a Q&A in a couple of months, so why don't you leave me a question and I'll commit to getting a Q&A out in the fairly near future. Okay, now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Big Idea Design Fountain EDC. Uh, this was the Stonewash Titanium, and then this is the Copper version. In regard to some other pocket pens, here it is with a Caveco Skyline Sport. And here it is with a Shone Design Pocket 6. I guess this goes the other way. Uh, and then here it is with a Gravitas pocket pen. In regard to a couple other pens, uh, here it is with the one from the company I previously reviewed, which is the Big Idea Design TI Ultra. You can see it's a significantly larger pen. Uh, and then here it is with a Pilot Stella 90S. Uh, and then finally, here's one more pen from Shown Design, which is their Ultum. In regard to some uncapped comparisons, let's go ahead and just use it posted since uh, that's how most people are going to be using this pen. Uh, here it is with the Gravitas and the Caveco Skyline Sport and the Shown Design Pocket 6. So you can see it's a little bit bigger than all three of those. Here we go with the writing sample for the big idea design. And this is the fountain EDC. And this is an 
extra fine box stainless steel nib. And the ink that I'm using today is something that I need to review here in the near future. It is from Van Diemen's. which is an ink from Australia, and this is their Bay of Fires. This is what the ink looks like. It's a nice burgundy red with some shading to it. Um, it's somewhat similar to Private Reserve's Burgundy Mist. Uh, and then here it is with Sailor Gentle Grenade, which has a little bit more sheening to it. This is what the 30 milliliter bottle looks like. Uh, and uh, like I mentioned, they're out of Australia and uh, I should get to around to reviewing this ink. They sent me a couple that I need to uh, show you and uh, look forward to sharing those with you. And here we go with the rest of the writing sample. Um, I will say that while the ink flow is decent on this, it is a bit on the stiff side uh, and it does have a, a fair amount of feedback to it. Uh, you know, I'm just not a huge fan of fine and extra fine nibs, but in regard to this one, it actually performs nicely and it lays down a nice line. Um, you're not going to get a lot of line variation out of here. And the ink flow, I feel, is decent. But then again, it's kind of a more narrow line. In regard to reverse writing, it looks like I caught some paper on there. Let's see if I can get that off there. It doesn't look like reverse writing is really its thing, at least in this particular nib. And then in regard to some fast writing... The feed keeps up just fine. So there we have the Big Idea Design Fountain EDC. Um, I think for the price, it's a decent option uh, and uh, an interesting uh, new addition to the lineup. So uh, make sure to go ahead and uh, enter below with the link in order to have a chance to make this copper version your very own. Uh, and I'll have some details uh, below in the notes as well on the contest, but basically 72 hours after I post this video, then I will go ahead and randomly select a winner and notify you via email. Okay, until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.